Good day, nobles and ladies. Hello, everyone. It's great to have you all back here. This is your regular dosage of royal news and analysis, so please enjoy yourself. Meghan Markle, the star of the show, has a passion for the spotlight that is comparable to that of a black hole that devours everything in its path. But before we go any further, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to activate the notification bell. The victim card has been played by Meghan with such dexterity that Shakespeare himself would be embarrassed by her antics. She has done this from Hollywood to Buckingham Palace. However, I would want to bring to your attention, dear viewers, that appearing to be the victim does not free one of responsibility, particularly when one is an adult who has a passion for drama. Then there is her puppet, Prince Harry, who was once a revered member of the royal family but is now a mere shadow of his former self, and he is dancing to the music that Meghan writes for him to manipulate. How the powerful have fallen, how they have fallen. When a prince gives up his dignity for the sake of transient fame and money, it is a very heartbreaking circumstance to behold. A true royal who exemplifies grace, dignity, and a work ethic that puts Meghan's blatant spotlight chasing to shame is shining like a beacon of hope in the midst of this chaos. However, there is no need to be afraid when you see this true royal. With the arrival of Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, a woman who does not require a crown to command respect and does not require a title to demonstrate her worth. Sophie has been given the nickname, the Royal Secret Weapon, and there is a good reason for this. Over the course of Meghan's time spent basking in the spotlight, Sophie toils away in the background, persistently advocating for causes that are actually consequential. Even if she does not receive the same amount of media attention as the two individuals who are seeking attention, the actions that she takes speak far louder than the words that they have never spoken. Sophie had an answer that is nothing short of legendary when she was asked about stepping up in the aftermath of Meghan and Harry's resignation from their duties as royals. She said, What did people thinking we were doing beforehand? The hypocrisy of Meghan and Harry's lavish departure was brought to light by eight straightforward words that cut through the din like a hot knife through butter. The level of commitment that Sophie has shown to her royal duties is unparalleled. She has supported more than 70 charitable organizations and initiatives, including those that advocate for the rights of disabled people, women's equality, British agriculture, and farming. She does not require a camera team to follow her every move in order to demonstrate her value. Her actions themselves are sufficient to demonstrate her worth. On the other hand, Sophie's path to imperial greatness has not been without of obstacles. In contrast to Meghan, who appears to consider royal duties as a nuisance rather than a pleasure, she seemed to be able to negotiate the challenges that she faced in transitioning from being a working lady to a working royal with elegance and humility. In spite of the honor and responsibility that came along with her vocation, Sophie enthusiastically accepted it and eagerly embraced it. There is also the charming relationship that Sophie had with the late Queen Elizabeth II, whom she affectionately addressed to as Ma in a speech, demonstrating the true affinity that they shared. Let us not forget this. In contrast to Meghan, who appears to view the royal family as nothing more than a stepping stone to fame and money, Sophie places the utmost importance on keeping traditions, respecting others, and remaining loyal. Therefore, my dear viewers, the next time you find yourself enthralled by Meghan and Harry's most recent performance, I strongly encourage you to direct your attention to someone who is not only worthy of your admiration but also actually deserves it, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh. Despite the fact that she does not actively seek attention, her light shines more brightly than any sensational headline could ever hope to. Furthermore, with regard to Meghan, it is possible that it is time for her to take Sophie's recommendation and permanently remove herself from the public spotlight. So, gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this piece of news in general? We appreciate you taking the time to listen to today's conversation. As is customary, I strongly encourage you to offer your ideas in the comments section that can be found below. Keep up with the latest information regarding the fascinating world of royalty, stay tuned. Until then, we would like to express our gratitude for your attention and say that we will be back to provide you with additional fascinating news regarding the royal family. I am grateful.